Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. This is John Kubicki and I'm giving an update on the um, Threadripper Z Asus Zenith Extreme uh, build that I've been building right behind me. Um, I've had quite a time trying to get it going. I made three other videos about memory issues on this machine, not knowing, not being able to figure out what it was. I went through three motherboards, I went through five, six different packs of RAM, and the indication, the indication was like the last two slots would not work with the, um, with two sticks of RAM. And once I swapped out the motherboards, it's the same exact issue, just really, really weird. So talking to the guys at Micro Center who have been extremely helpful, um, he's like, it's, you know, there's a high, uh, with all that happening, you know, the motherboards are doing the same thing, it's, you know, could be the CPU. So we took the CPU back today, exchanged it for a brand new CPU, brought it back in, popped it in, memory issues are gone. So it was the Threadripper CPU that I got. Um, there was something going on with it. Don't know what, it did work. Uh, but it did not work with all the memory slots so put the new one in <coughs> excuse me put the new one in and we are now up and running we've got 64 gigabytes of ram uh we actually have the corsair rgb ram in there sorry if it's not too uh incredibly focused but so we got eight sticks uh, i wanted to go up to 128 but for right now i'm going to keep it as is i'm not going to mess with it because it's not broken so i'm not going to fix it um, all the lighting is done. Do a quick go around uh, down in front. We got the lights on top. As you can see, we got them. So much just sequential lighting right now. I'll probably mess around with that a little bit more later. Uh, all wires are clean up on the backhand side. You can't really see anything, but everything fits. This case, this is the Thermal Take um, View 71 case. This case is phenomenal. I mean. I would buy this case every single time. It's like goes for like 179. It is a big case. You can fit a uh, EATX board in it, um, and it's just just an amazing case with room to spare. It has every possible screw hole you could want in it. Uh, ever, anything you could possibly need. So anyway, this is this is what we've got. The uh, final scenario on it was the CPU itself and as you can see if we go into the PC properties let's see going down we see 64 gigabytes right there no problem so the big question is is you know do we shoot up to try to go to 128 um, not just yet you know we've been messing with this thing for a while we solved the issues so anybody that's having memory read issues on a Threadripper system, swap out your CPU. That's my um, my thought that might help you out. Turn on this other light so you guys can see me a little bit better. But you know, I went through so many memory issues with this thing; it was ridiculous. Couldn't get it to read them all. Um, just get another CPU, take it back, get another one. So it only took me maybe 30 minutes to. Pop it in, get it all cleaned up, and boom, just worked right away. So, this is John Kubicki with the Threadripper Build 2017, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you guys out, you know, trying to figure out your Threadripper Build as well. See you later.